Hey, this is Jason from National Camera Exchange. In this tutorial, we're going to look at noise reduction in Lightroom. So you can see down here in my detail panel, I have um, noise reduction and sharpening. In a previous video, we went through some of the sharpening, um, but they kind of need to be done a little bit hand in hand. So as you sharpen, sometimes you bring out more noise, and as you add noise reduction, sometimes you um, soften your image. So but this portion, we're going to look at the noise reduction specifically. It's important when you're doing these kind of adjustments, you're looking at really fine details in the image, and it's important to zoom in um, so that you can see what's going on as you add this noise reduction or do this sharpening. And so they put in this little panel here where you can kind of see a, um, a closer view of what's going on in my image. You can see this image has got some noise. Up here at the top here in our histogram window, you can see I shot this at ISO 1250 which on some cameras isn't that big of a problem. This is my Micro Four Thirds body and the smaller sensor just doesn't handle this type of lighting quite as well. So we're gonna do some noise reduction on this image. So I actually don't use this window here. Um, instead I zoom in in my workspace so that I can see um, better there. So I zoom in here, I'm actually up to three to one here. And you can see in here that there's some definite noise going on. You can see a little bit of color noise and some luminance noise. A lot of cameras don't have as much color noise anymore, so a lot of times you're going to be focusing more on this luminance portion of the noise reduction instead of the color portion. But I found an image where we are going to see some um, color noise. And I'm actually going to go up here into the basics panel, the basic panel here, and overexpose my image so I'm going to bring up these shadows which is one place where you can really start to see this noise so you can really see that color noise appearing in my sky and if we go back down here then now I can kind of adjust this noise reduction but I really want you to see the noise that's there so that you can tell what's going on so here you can see I've got both some luminance noise and some color noise a lot of times you don't need to actually adjust some of these separate controls, detail contrast and detail and smoothness. You don't necessarily have to work with those often. The defaults work pretty well. So, but luminance here, as I go up here, uh, basically what you do is you, you soften the image to a certain extent. So you do have to be aware of the fact, that's why I was saying sharpening and noise reduction kind of go hand in hand. So as you can see, you can see I'm, I'm losing some of my noise. The image is becoming less grainy. I do still have that color noise in there though. So. Um, if I go down here to detail, um, I'm going to preserve some of the detail that might be eaten up by, by my noise reduction. So, but the higher this gets, you know, I kind of take away some of the effect of my noise reduction. And the lower this gets, I, I kind of soften the image a little bit more. So 50 is where it defaults, and that tends to work pretty well. And then contrast, uh, preserve some of the contrast in areas where the noise reduction is kind of um, overriding that. But again you have that too high and you kind of uh, override the effect of the luminance slider. So um, in this case, I'll leave it at zero. So like I said, I found an image specifically that's gonna have some color noise because a lot of cameras don't have as much color noise anymore. So if you look here, the color slider, you can see that just by barely touching it, uh, most of my color noise went away. And um, as I go up again, you have to be careful. It, it's softening my image a little bit too much. It's kind of taking out some of the saturation. So we'll go back down here and we'll go up into maybe this, uh, you know, 10 area. Um, and again, kind of similar detail, preserve some of the detail you might be losing and smoothness actually um, kind of smooths out some of that color noise where you get some blotchiness. So now that I have lost some of that color noise, I can see that I have a little bit more luminance, you know, noise going on here, and I can actually raise that if I want to. But you have to be aware that I, I'm losing some of the finer details in the image. Um, so you can see that the overall image might suffer a little bit. But if we go back up into these trees real quick, again, like a lot of the other tools, if you hold Alt down, some of these sliders, you know, we, we switch to black and white again because we can kind of see what's going on a little bit contrast you can you know see what's going on a little bit more so using the alt key along with some of these sliders is definitely a good way to kind of measure what's going on and that is noise reduction in Lightroom so it's important to kind of run that on a lot of your low light shots and or shots where you really start to overexpose those shadows like we did on this one
Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know in the comments below what other tutorials you'd like to see. Until next time, I'm Jason with National Camera Exchange.